This was another great episode, possibly the best of the season, and there is a lot to take in here. It was also an extra long episode, being 29 minutes long instead of the normal like 23 or 24. Plus there's no opening, so they had even more room for the story. We did get to the actual ending there, which is nice to see, and good to see it after four episodes. So I have to ask, is the opening still technically an opening if we're four episodes in and it's never been used as the opening? These are the questions ReZero asks. Either way, I'm impressed at the dedication of the staff here, doing everything they can to present as much of the story as they can in their limited number of episodes. And what we got here was incredible. Subaru's parents and his life just make so much sense. It also stands out by being kind of ordinary. Up until this point, Subaru has been kind of a typical shonen protagonist, like he wants to save all those he cares about, though with the twist being that all of his foolishness is thrown back into his face and he's forced to grow from that. In this episode, though, we really learned what made Subaru the person that he is. He wants to be loved, wants to have people admire him. And with this episode in mind, I think his actions throughout all of season one make a lot more sense. And I also liked how when Subaru was a kid, things just came easy to him. But as he grew up and things became harder, he felt like a failure. And this led to him not being able to stand out, at least not on his own terms, so he wanted to be normal. And then he just rejected society as a whole. And his parents here, they're such great people. They're definitely a bit ridiculous, but that's what makes them so great. And they have an interesting dynamic between all of them. They all share Subaru's sometimes absurd logical reasoning. And again, it's amazing how well they fit with Subaru. I thought this when we saw his dad at the end of the last episode, just for that one scene. And here, every scene fits perfectly with what we know about Subaru. Like you have the P's to the mayonnaise and all the wrestling moves and all that. Yes, out of context, that sounds weird. It's weird in context, too. But it's Subaru's life, and his parents are just amazing. One of the things I found really interesting here was all the pressure put on him to live up to his father's legacy. Now, it wasn't his family doing that or anything, but it was society. Everyone seems to know who his father is, so they expect great things from his son. And this felt so impossible for Subaru to do. So, eventually, he just gave up. But no matter what, he still has his parents' love, and that's so beautiful. One of the things I like about his backstory is that it's not something super tragic or anything. Subaru, though, he had what should have been a good life. He had parents that loved him and supported him. He had a lot of natural talent, so he could go anywhere with that. But for Subaru, the tragedy in his life came from his own decisions, his own failures. This is very human. You can blame society or family or whatever for your own families in life, and sometimes you can be right in doing so. But I think that a lot of times failures come from our own choices or lack of choices. And that's Subaru. He was a failure of a person because of himself, not anything external to him. But the message of the episode is that failure is not a permanent state of being. I love how he remembered Amelia and Ram here. Ram is so great, and I love how she was able to believe in him fully, despite him being honestly pretty pathetic. And that was a drive behind what Subaru was doing, the way he was growing, the way he figured out a way to take down the white whale, to defeat Sloth. He has changed and grown and done so many great things because of Rem. In this episode, we saw the change taking hold of Subaru, not in the fantasy world, but in his ordinary life. Him gathering the courage to go to school. And I think it is so cool that the reason he was able to change is not because of his parents, but because of Rem. Someone outside of his family. Yes, his parents are great. They love him and are doing everything they can for him. But in this case, it needed to be someone who knew him from the outside. Someone that knew Subaru as Subaru, not as his father's son. And that's what it means to grow up, too. Subaru's family is great. I keep saying that. And that is a perfect family for someone like him to have. But growing up means finding your own people, your own loved ones, either through friends or your own spouse or whatever. And it's important for Subaru and anyone growing up to be their own person. And with Subaru finding Amelia and Rem, that has allowed him to be that. And it's because of them that he can grow as himself and now face going to school. But as smart as this episode is for a lot of reasons, there's a huge emotional side to it too. And that is Subaru's goodbye to his parents. This does not appear to actually be reality, but part of Ekidona's trial. 
And if that is true, that means Subaru's goodbye is something his parents will never hear. Subaru has had more than enough happen to him these past couple of months to keep him busy and occupied with this world. And maybe to a degree forget his old one. But this episode brought his past back to him and reminded him of what he had lost. Most Isekai don't focus much on what the characters leave behind. They just focus on the main character in the new world and all their adventures and harems that they get there. But here Subaru comes to grips with what he did leave behind. And it's not clear if he has any hope of ever returning home. Though, if he was given the chance, I don't know if he would. He has Amelia here. He has to get Rem back. And even after he gets Rem back, I don't think he would want to leave them. So it's very possible he will never see his parents again. And yeah, their relationship is a bit strained, but there's a ton of love throughout the family. And that makes him being gone even harder for everyone. The episode as a whole reminded me a lot of episode 18 from season 1. It has a type of feel that just like draws me in with all the emotions. And I loved how like focused it was. So far season 2 has been very plot heavy, every episode having 2 or 3 major plot events going on. But this episode and episode 18 of the original were just focused on one thing and one single thing. And I also feel like it's going to be a moment that will drive Subaru forward. Watching it just was a strange experience too. I like checked the time 20 minutes into it, thinking the episode was half over, but no, that wasn't even close. This is a sign of just how much it pulled me in. So yeah, the show's phenomenal. This episode may be being the best one yet. And that is saying a lot for how good the show is. And these are the things that stood out to me the most. Let me know what yours were or the various things that I missed. I do want to come back and take a deeper look at the season and just everything going on because there's a lot. ReZero is great. So yes, thank you for watching. Like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more ReZero content soon. And I will talk to you all next time.